Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers. Welcome to our this series of videos in which we are uh, showing you how to use Microsoft Excel functionalities to solve your day-to-day -day, uh, uh, problems, uh, algebraic problem for the students. Uh, it means uh, you may be, uh, as a teacher, uh, require to generate certain problem for uh, multiply multiple uh, cho uh, choice questions, MCQs, based tests for your students. So uh, we have developed uh, this system for uh, generating multiple uh, questions and then updated them into the quiz db and presenting it to the audience right so in our previous video we showed you how you can use a single set of uh, uh code here right uh to uh to generate a, a variety of uh, problems uh, in v in, in algebra algebraic problems right okay so let's uh, uh let's see it just for a revision the what you have so far seen that when you double click on any problem in here, right? For example, let's take the last four, four or five questions, right? Okay. Let's take from here, okay? So uh, if we remove this thing and we double click on it, so the first procedure will get you to the right answer. The answer is ready for posting. It is not yet posted since you have made any change in it. It is a, all the other ones are posted, so you don't have to worry about that. Only the non-posted, not posted ones will be posted. Okay, and let's proceed to the next one. We, uh, for example, remove it and we double click on it. So this is going. To, the first procedure will uh, get the answer, the solution of this problem case okay, so which you have done it. The similarly, for example, you remove this, yeah, and double click on it. So this is also not posted now. Okay, it, this is these are ready for posting. Okay. And this is the question which the answer, we remove the answer and see double clicking fast procedure. Okay, it gets you the answer. Okay. Now, this is our latest uh, problem and using the same uh, procedure. It is uh, enhanced now to accommodate uh, this variety of problem. Normally, you have an answer of the find the value of x here and a value of x is here, but this question is different. It is uh, to find the value of a and b, right? a and b, and uh, so it will try different values and, and you have some answer. Uh, all right. So we don't remove this. So we, we remove the A and B values, right? And we double click on it. So as fast procedure will get you uh, to this dialog box, which will ask you the target value, which you want. So we want the, it's a goal seek, for example, okay? Uh, advanced goal seek. Goal seek normally depend, has a one cell dependent, but uh, here we have A and B to be dependent and we want uh, to target our value to seven, okay? So, so these are, the answer has been, right? the same procedure for you, <laughs> is now accommodating this different variety, okay? So we have explained you the code. Uh, to see the code, you can go to the view code here and you will find all these uh, uh, things, I means uh, the code, uh, which is uh, uh, using a procedure. Uh, so in case of, uh, if you have a certain rule, normally it adopts this procedure, uh, but uh, for our, the latest enhancement, when you have a formula, so it will check if there is a formula. It has an equal to sign beginning, right? The first character uh, from the formula uh, text is equal to, it means it's a formula. And if it is a formula, then it uh, this check goes the true. If it is true, then it will uh, go to this procedure, otherwise the old procedure. Okay, so this was the, uh, we, we did it in our previous video. And so, so this time we are going to, uh, update all these uh, questions to our database, right? And before we do it, we first of all make sure that we have this uh, target database open and we kill your any any chapter for example chapter number 32 v0032 is algebraic problem and if there are multiple problems you can delete them right so that you can see so so the deletion is in, in it's a two step first of all you delete the, the in the column and you have the the picture objects you delete them and then you remove the row right that's it so, sorry, control, yeah, you re remove the row, right? So you have actually deleted the entire chapter. You can delete any unwanted chapter like this, right? The chapter number 31 has so many. If you want to delete them, you, before selecting and deleting all this, you have to delete 
uh, the objects first, hmm? the, the picture objects which are found in here. Okay? If you delete those programs first, and then you can you can proceed for deleting program. Okay, so we are for the moment. This this is just for your uh, reminding that you have to uh, the deletion is uh, there are setting uh, means uh, this you have to make sure that uh, all the picture objects are deleted. You can delete the multiple picture objects by selecting multiple ways. So you hold down, for example, you you select it and then hold down shift. Mm, and then you select the other one, then you select the other one, then you select the other one, and then you select the other one, and click delete, and so the whole group is deleted in a one go, right? So this is, uh, so we do not want to delete at the moment. We just uh, are making sure that this file is ready with uh, uh, for update into the cell. Okay, when you delete some row, this will happen, but this will resolve, okay? This will resolve, don't worry about this, and uh, uh, since we have deleted a chapter, so this will happen, okay? But what we do is we select the new chapter, it will start functioning, okay? That's it, we don't worry about that. So now, the last chapter is for uh, 0031, and we will add the new chapter algebraic problem for 0032, right? Okay, so what we do here, we save this, and we get back to our system here, and we have how many questions? For posting ready for the next uh, uh that is uh, all those which are not posted they will be taken into the new chapter okay so all those which are not posted they will be treated for they will be considered for the updation into the db so that is one from row number 160. you don't have to worry about that it the system will will check whatever is written here not posted so it will be posted okay so no worry about that so all you need to do is click on this we have put a breakpoint. I remember we have put a breakpoint in the form. And here in this form, we have this procedure. And these are all the procedures and allocation. Yeah, this is OK. So uh, let's put this uh, on the breakpoint in here, right? So that you see that how uh, these uh, uh, are done. OK. So, um, we can do it uh, later, but uh, okay, uh, just uh, update it. Let's update. Okay, so it will uh, ask you the database. We know that our latest database is 418, and we want uh, to open a new chapter, you know, which is not there, okay? So, and we name it, for example, we name it as algebra. Algebraic uh, problems here, questions, okay, problems. Okay, and we click proceed. So it has added, uh, it added everything, and it has marked all those here and as a post. These all are posted in a new chapter, right? So let's get back to our database. So this is the last problem, which was the answer of it was this, the and and all the choices are ready, and now we can go to our newly added chapter, algebraic problems. Yeah is now seen in here. Now, you can see question one, question two. Let's start from question one. So there are five questions. This is see, question four, question five. So this is question number one, right? <clears throat> so we have these are the five questions ready. These are posted and the answers are ready. To, and you can test your audience. Let me know that the right answer for this newly added this, uh, question was this. That's right. Okay. So this is how the our questions are added and uh, uh, into the uh, your database, and your quiz is ready uh, to you know, to present to your audience. Okay. Thank you very much for watching.